what's good you guys thanks for tuning in this is golden beats and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and smash the notification bell to get notified of all future content like this so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create your own duck delay within fl studio so without any further ado let's get straight into it so i sampled perfect by Ed Sheeran for this amazing drill beat and I'm also going to use those vocals for this tutorial so yeah this is what it sounds like so these are the plugins I used for the duck delay which is the fruity delay 3 uh, fruity balance Fruity P controller and the Fruity X Y controller. Alright, so when I hit play, you will see how the volume parameter duck whenever the vocal play and how the delay become audible whenever the vocal stops, right? So let's hit play. So the volume parameter on the Fruity Balance is linked to the sidechain signal of the vocal. And this will use the sidechain signal to reduce the level of the delay. And this is a great technique you can use if you don't want your delays to interfere with your main vocal. So let's create this from scratch. So the first thing you need to do is to send the signal from FL Studio through the Fruity Delay 3, the Fruity Balance, and back into FL Studio, right? And then you need to send the signal from FL Studio straight back into FL Studio, right? So this is gonna be the sidechain signal. So what you need to do on the side signal is to reduce the dry level of your fruity delay. And I already applied these delay settings for the vocal. So yeah, and what you also need to do is to send a sidechain signal through the fruity P controller. Right click on the fruity P controller, go to outputs, controllers and select peak. On your fruity XY controller, right click on it, go to inputs, parameters and select X level. Right click on it once again, outputs, controllers, X level, and on the fruity balance, we're going to use the volume to reduce the level of the delay using the sidechain signal. So we're gonna right click on the fruity balance, go to inputs, parameters, and select volume. Now I'm gonna link these points. So the next thing you need to do is to open up the Fruity XY controller and just turn up the speed to its maximum value so that the volume parameter can instantly react to the sidechain signal. So that's basically all I do um, with the Fruity XY controller. So next you need to open the Fruity P controller, right click on the Fruity balance, copy the value and paste it on the base. So now you can use the volume parameter to set the amount of reduction for your delays whenever the vocal plays. So let's hit play. So you can also mess around with the release which is the DK parameter. Just turn it down to about 30%. So now the delay will take a little bit longer to come to its default value. So let's hit play. And that's how you can create a duck delay within FL Studio. So I also created this duck delay picture preset. The link is down below in the description if you want to download this uh, duck delay preset. So what you need to do is to click on map, open the fruity delay 3 and change the settings to taste right there, right? So after you set the settings to taste, you can go back to surface and just dial in the delay level and the amount of reduction using the duck parameter. So let's play it. Darling, just dive right in. Darling, just dive right in. I found a girl, beautiful and sweet. Darling, just dive right in. I found a girl, beautiful. So that's all for now. If you find this video helpful, hit that like button. This is Golden Beats. Thanks for watching. God bless.